the magically appearing cell in Excel. That's what I'm going to show you here. So let's say that you're working on the monthly divorce budget for Mr. Gates, and you're down to his submarine budget for the month, and you think it should be $10 million. And that's enough, Bill. Okay, so it's not allowed. Maybe we should put it down to $9 million. I think he can uh, run his submarine on that, maybe. All right. Okay, so that's good enough for Bill. Not too much. So this is the magically appearing cell, and I'm going to show you how to make it and make it so it's dependent upon whatever else is input into the worksheet. I have removed everything, so there's no more magic here. And all we really want to do here is to add a little bit of conditional formatting with a special little number format trick. So the first thing that you do is input the value here that you want to appear. Uh, that's enough, Bill. Okay. And you can add formatting here or any conditional formatting, but I'm going to add a little bit of formatting here just to make it easier on me for the conditional formatting. So just make that guy red. And now we have to make a formula. And the formula should say either true or false. That should be the result of it, at least. And we want to say if this is too much, then this should appear. But what we have to do for the conditional formatting is to reverse that and say, if this does not reach a certain amount, then we hide the contents of this cell. So we make a simple little formula, sum, and we sum these values, and then we make a little check. So does this, or is this, less than, let's say, 20 million? One, two, three, one, two, three, enter. Yes, it is. So in that case, we would not want to show it. We would want to hide it. And so we apply conditional formatting. And let's go ahead and combine these into one. I'm going to copy this, bring it over here, and replace C8 with that. And now we have a check, a single formula that's going to return a true or false. So we are good to go for our conditional formatting. Copy uh, that guy. And let's get that one out of the way. Select this cell, go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and paste that guy in there, go to format, and number, and custom, and right up here, delete that, and do semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. Notice the sample has now disappeared. So three semicolons, hit OK, OK, and there we go. Now let's put it at 10 million, 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there we go. And that is the trick for the magically appearing cell so that you can create your submarine budget for the divorce. <laughs> So conditional formatting can be used to do a lot of really helpful, useful, and kind of trick things. So it seems like it's a little trick, but it is just this simple formula input into conditional formatting combined with a custom number format.